I'm Hannah from Enemy, and I'm here backstage at Reading Festival with Tyler Yower. Hello. Uh, yo, how you said my name? Did I say it completely wrong? No, you um, said it perfectly. Oh. Tyler Yahweh, you dig? We out here. You scared me so <laughs> much then. <laughs> Just something like, oh, that's the first there. thing you do and be like, all right, fine, yeah. Nah, nah, you're cool, you said it right. <laughs> so, Reading Festival, first time at Reading. Yeah. What's it like? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I was not expecting so many kids to come out and know every song word for word. So, like, it was so beautiful. I can't wait to come do another show here. Like, and it's, yeah. I, I looked at the history, it's actually pretty iconic. Like, yeah. all the greats that I look up to all re- like, performed here, so it's dope. Yeah, totally. And it's such like in the UK, it's such a rite of passage. You like yeah. you turn sixteen, you go to Reading Festival. <laughs> Did you have like a festival or event back home that you had like that? Um, not yet. I haven't had like a big festival, but I've yeah. been like top, like up up there yeah. on the on the bill. So it's been cool on certain festivals. Actually, we just did uh one in it was in Oregon or something. We've been doing so many festivals, man. It's just it's a blur sometimes. So. Yeah. It's been dope though because everybody comes out for me and it's like cool. it feels like you're headlining. So yeah, completely. And have you been on tour with Post Malone as well? Yeah, we're still on tour right now. Oh, so you're kind of mixing them in together. Yeah. How's that been? It's been blessings on blessings on blessings and craziness, and like gaining so much fans and like more ears that mm-hmm. don't know who you are, but then they find out who you are and they become fans right there. So it's been amazing. Yeah, Um, because you're signed to his label as well. Yeah, I'm signed to him at Epic Records. Yeah. Yeah. Does he offer you quite a lot of advice? Oh, man, just watching is just enough for me, you know, because I watch and I learn. So he's just always there for me, hands-on with all of it, so it's dope. And you released your first album in February, Heart Full of Rage. Yeah, Heart Full of Rage is not an album. It's a project. Uh It sounds like an album, so people will be like, yo, is this an album or a project? What is it? But it's, a, it's like a series that I'm doing, mm-hmm. and we're about to drop Heart Full of Rage 2. I was about soon. to ask about that. Yeah, so yeah. September, so. Uh, any collaborations on that you can tell Can't us tell about? Can't tell you yet. Can't tell you. Yeah. Okay, but you've collaborated with people in the past, like yeah. French Montana. Who is the one person you've not worked with yet you really want to work with? Uh, Young Thug. Okay. And Young Thug is like one of my favorite artists, so. Perfect. And you said this is part two. It's part two. How, how many parts are you envisioning? I don't know. I'm going to just like, I'm not gonna give it to like back to back, yeah. back to back. I just wanna put the moments of my life in something. So when I feel like they're, it's like a diary, like chapter yeah. one, chapter two. So Heart Full of Rage is like a book to me. So it's a book about my life. Yeah, completely. And I'm giving people bits and pieces of it in different chapters and different series of the books. So. Mm-hmm. And it is a project. Yeah. Um, do you like releasing music like that so you can get it out so much more quickly than, you know, when you do an album and it's kind of get locked into a cycle? And um, I make a lot of music. Mm-hmm. I'm always in the studio. So it's like, it can be whatever people like say it is, yeah. you know. I just want to give out a good body of work and give out a message and show people my life. So we're here at Reading Festival. Mm-hmm. Did you go to music festivals growing up at all? Not at all. Not like at all. I, I just started performing at them and then I just started actually enjoying them. Like I went out, bought a bunch of, I bought all the balloons from the guy, <laughs> walked around, took pictures with people. Yeah. Like and I just I went on all the rides. I like to yeah. enjoy the festival. So when you're actually like the performer, it's hard because you got to do a lot of mm-hmm. stuff. You got to work. But when I had that little bit of time, I always go out and just enjoy it because I never got to do this when I was a kid. Yeah, totally. What was it like for you then, the first time you ever went to a music festival? Uh, I performed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. So you, but like when you kind of walked around the site and. I, it sometimes going, like, I didn't get to. Like oh, it was always yeah. like, oh, you're backstage, you're chilling, and then you got to go to the next place. So like now that I, I like, I like to feel normal and I like yeah. to go out, enjoy and see what's going on, mm. get dirty with the people, <laughs> and like go to the campsites, go shotgun beers with them and stuff. So. Little small things like that means the most. So. Yeah, totally. Who's the best person you've been able to been able to catch at a festival this summer? Um, man, there's a lot. Well, one, my brother Posty. I love watching him. I watch every show. Mm-hmm. It's like every time I watch it, it's like something different. Like it's just a new feeling, a new vibe. Mm-hmm. You catch a new lyric or a new vibe like that you never like really understood and mm-hmm. and you finally realize. So, Posty, um, I like watching my brother Saint John. I got to see Danny Lay today. She was really dope. Um, 
I want to. I wish I was here to watch Foo Fighters. Like, yeah. I'm gonna watch. Uh, I wish I was here to watch 1975 too. Yeah. Um, Billie Eilish was dope. She was super dope. Amazing, so like, yeah. I just like watching new people. Like, uh, who did I get? I think I watched Talking Heads and Coachella. So Amazing. that was pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, and finally, for the rest of the year, what are you up to? You've got the part two of the project coming out, but are you getting up to anything um, else? We're about to actually go back on tour in a few weeks, me, Sway Lee, and Posty. Mm-hmm. And we just on the road. I'll, I just want to travel the world and become a household name a household name, and drop another album, drop an album, working on my album. Mm-hmm. So just keep making music, dropping videos, be the best fashion icon in the world and just love the people. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of Reading. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.